This is Scott Rohn again with the new control box from Filter One. A couple of critical components we want to tell you about inside our new control box. Number one, this green component right next to the overload is our phase relay. The phase relay always, never an exception, needs to be pointed or set towards U plus S. This will be described in the manual. This is our power supply. We're going to a standard 24 volt DC power supply. It powers our PLC, which again acts more like a remote terminal unit as it communicates with our CASI controller. This is the backside of our smart HMI. This other component is a surge protector. It actually protects against lightning strikes and the such to protect, again, our investment over here in our control scheme. These are the pressure transducers. Sometimes you'll see them labeled as F, S, and D, if this were a ducted unit. F would be the highest pressure, but you can't see it. But there's a pressure connection above the impingers, below the blower. This pressure connection is below the impingers. It's actually the scrub pressure, or the raw scrub pressure. And if it were a ducted unit, there'd be a third switch and it would connect at the front of the unit just like all of our other ducted units do. The PLC will do the math and do the difference between the pressures, the scrub pressures, the filter pressures, and the gauges will adjust accordingly. For example, when you have an impinger pressure, the scale is only to two inches. But if you had an after filter, that scale would jump up to three or four or five inches to account for the after filter pressure. Normally our scrub pressure will go from zero to 10, barring an exceptional situation. This is your auxiliary relay. When you have an NFPA box, this is how you interlock your dust making equipment with our dust collecting equipment. NFPA requires that the dust collecting equipment be started and up to full speed before you can engage the dust making equipment. This is your interlock relay. Again, today we are looking at the Filter One Hydrotron Series HPB module. These are almost always used in conjunction with a booth and almost always used in conjunction with multiple modules. At the very top, you can see the connection where the regain duct would be attached. Moving down the front, you can see our CASI control box. Uh, this is a uh, critical and a primary feature on our NG series, which stands for next generation. You can see right below that, this bulkhead connection where the top can be removed and a after filter module can be added into the module. It makes it makes for flexible manufacturing. Moving on down, you'll see the air inlet. This creates, again, a draft from the front of the booth to the rear of the booth. And of course, a great feature on the NG series is our tank design. This tank actually slopes from this end to the far end for the, where the drain is, so that when you're washing it out or servicing it, you can move the sludge towards the drain with the use of gravity. This is the valve that needs to be opened during auto-tune parallel with the pipe, like it's shown right now, is open. Perpendicular to the pipe is closed. That is closed. So this is a motor out of the Airstream design. Standard on all NGs is motor out of the Airstream. Uh, it would also be spark resistant. If you did order a unit spark resistant, it comes with an aluminum wheel, unless it's such a challenging application, then we'll go with an aluminum cone and a steel wheel. Moving on down, you'll see the access for the impingers. These are the cleanable style, noted by the plastic corners with screw fasteners and the labels of which side to open and not open. Then we have the impeller, which accomplishes the scrubbing of the air and the water and the dust together. And then we have, again, the, 
the feature of the NG units, which is the sloped tank, which you can't really see here, but that tank does slope to the forward so that it would move sludge and dirty water towards the drain. A critical feature of the NG series is the bolt-on tank. This allows for flexible manufacturing and most of these components can be reconfigured to either an HWF or an HPB and in some situations a DHYD style table.